My dog stepped on a bee. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Hey everyone, welcome back to channel. Today we're back. A Brockaburg. Okay guys, we're back here in Starter Suburbia. My uh, mini series, but at the same time, it's only whenever I feel like building a house here. So it's not like a dedicated series. But yes, once again, we're going to be building another star home. And I definitely want to include a toddler like room for this home. More of the toddler furniture. I'm basically trying to get as much use as I can with the newest update. But it's been about a week now, right? It's been about a week and I'm pretty sure all of us are, you know, slowly getting over it. But um, there's definitely a lot of cool builds still out there for it. So yeah, it's, it's, it's still good. I think I'm almost done using all the stuff from the update. But yeah, we're going to be building a house right here. And before I do that, I want to let you guys know about the castle grand opening. I did not forget about it. Kind of was trying to forget about it, but I can do that. Um, the grand opening will take place March 14th, 2022 at 3 p.m. Eastern time. I think, I hope I can. Hopefully things don't change with that time. Hopefully uh, I can stick with 3 p.m. EST. But if you guys need to use a time converter, you guys want that in your time zone, just type in 3 p.m p.m. EST in my local time and then Google should tell you what that will be in your time. So I'm only going to be doing around I think three to four sessions anytime anywhere between three to four sessions but each of them will be 10 minute each and um, I will see you guys there and once again it is a 50 player limit. Um, you have a pretty small chance of making it into the session so uh, you know I tried my best. I tried to do three to four sessions 10 minutes each if you don't make it, don't feel too bad. Okay, I'll see you guys there. But anyway, let's do this house. Oh yeah, color code. Okay, let's do this one from Mistian. Mistian, sorry if I messed up your name. 152, 180, 12. Oh my god, wow. I feel like I've used it before, but you know what? It's It matches my channel, you right. It matches my channel, thank you. Here's a look at Starter Suburbia, by the way. It's been a little while since we've been here, but yeah. Starter houses only. Um, I know some of them are two-story homes, and most people who start the game don't won't have multiple stories game pass, but if you do happen to get a multiple stories game pass and nothing else really, then it still would be fine to build up one of these houses. I don't think they're too expensive, but yes, I will be building a house over here now. And I think we have, I think maybe, four more plots left that we can build on so like two here two here soon i think once i'm done with this house we're basically halfway done with starter suburbia <laughs> starter suburbia i don't know what to call it i'm just call it starter suburbia it's basic okay i think this one can also be a one-story house once again i want to make sure it's like starter friendly two bedrooms one toddler and one main bedroom and then of course the kitchen bathroom stuff i hate i hate i absolutely hate making one-story houses sometimes because the roofing is tif difficult okay i think i have an idea of what i want to do um oh gosh okay we'll start three here and then we'll do i guess something like this hold on wait let me start it right here instead right here would be better a bit more space in the back oh my gosh okay yeah that'll be it that Oh, I want to do a backyard here too. I want to give them a small backyard. I do want a little bump out here. Man, that's so tiny. That is so tiny. This is basically, I feel like this is going to be the same size as the, the starter house you would get when you join the game. Um, I'm thinking bathroom there. Oh, how am I going to fit these bedrooms? How am I going to fit these bedrooms? How am I going to fit these bedrooms? Okay, hold on. Let me, let me do something here. A little bump out here. Ew, roofing this is going to be terrible. I just know the roof. If I do auto roof, it's going to look ugly. Let me think here. This is so small. Maybe I could do... Hold on. Maybe I could bump this out one more. And then we could have more. Oh my god, that's... I hate how that is turning out right now. Okay, that looks fine. It's not a box exactly. Um. So yeah, okay. That's cool. Where's the front door going to be? Right here. I think this will be the front door. Three by three bedroom here. And then the toddler room could be a two by three. And then one bathroom right there. Oh my god. Look how that flowed together so well. So then the kitchen will be here. Living room perhaps. Maybe living room here. Kitchen here. I think we've made our house guys. Our toddler room is a two by three though. That's okay. At least it's still bigger than the bathroom. That's fine. I made it guys. I did it. I, I did it. <laughs> kind of like stare through the door too. And then we'll need to grab some windows for this. Let's see. Now that we have our layout done. I don't want to use those windows though. I want a nice looking starter house. <laughs> oh god, what decisions? Decision. We will still make it look nice. I promise. I bet you it's gonna look great. I guess I'll floor up the house. I love how I'm flip-flopping around. I went from windows, doors to this right away. But we layer it linen. I haven't done, I don't do linen too much um, for flooring, but if we layer it, I think it'll look decent. Do that like four times, I think. Four times will be 
enough. I want to do something quick and simple today for today's video, but still kind of use like the new stuff. I am done with using the new items, I think. Um, I still love the cars. I still will use the food a lot, but I think toddler builds. I guess I'll mix them in with the other random houses, but... Okay, we'll put the door for the toddler's room there. A uh, main bedroom. <laughs> There's a small bedroom. There's a tiny bedroom. Oh my gosh. This is really... this. If I were to build in like the actual Bloxburg standard, this would be perfect. I, I, I don't know if it's going to look that great, but we shall see. Oh yeah, let me do the roof. I haven't done the roof yet. Let me try... Let me try a simple gable and see how that looks. Oh, wait, that's not the bad. That's not too bad. Wait a second. That's not too bad at all. Okay, hold on. Let me just adjust it. So it looks like, like a bigger house than what it is. You can do that. You don't need advanced placement to mess with your roof. Okay, there you go. Let's see how that looks. <gasps> yeah, okay. That's a pretty normal home. That's a really normal home. Okay, um, don't mind what I'm about to do here in a moment. This is the upgraded version once again. Uh, let me see. I don't have any. I'm gonna put wall trims on this just to like complete the look a bit. I don't know. Solidify the look. I just want to add some more detailing on it, but you don't have to do this. But you can! It's- it's wall trim. Anyone can do it. Um, uh, but I just like to do it. I just like to see if I can add some more detailing to it if possible. Yeah, I always do this whenever I do renovate or like rebuild the uh, starter houses and stuff. I like to add these wall trims for whatever reason. Okay, I don't know what I'm about to do here. I just want to add something right here to the, like the front. Uh, let's see if this will look decent. I want to add this. I will add it. <laughs> this is going to mess up. I'm, I'm going to make it messy. No overhang. The overhang is going to make it worse. Does that look okay? What if I do another one like right here? What if I do? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh that. I'm trying my best to make it not look like a Blockburg, like an actual Blockburg story house. I want it to look more unique in a way. Um, or like different. Okay, um, I'm just gonna copy. You know what? I'm really just gonna copy and paste some of the things from this house. Cause you know, why not? We're smart here. Work smarter, not harder. Sorry, if you don't have advanced placement, you can't resize or rescale the windows, but I'm doing it cause this is the upgraded version. Um, <laughs> it's a quote unquote upgraded version. Let's work on this house. Oh, should I do a backyard too? Do a backyard. We have space. I gotta make use of this space. I might as well. Cause this is, a, you know, a family house and um, it would make sense to have a back area. I'm gonna do the same thing back here. I'm gonna put a slanted roof. Through my roof. I would like to make a porch, but then again, you can't do porches if you have if you don't have advanced placement. So this will do. Oh yeah, that looks fine. Yeah. Wow, I actually kind of like this house though. Like, I think the layout is pretty good for a starter home, and I think if you're on a budget, this would be a nice, uh, fun home to make. All right, let's let's work on this, guys. Okay, I'm gonna do the toddler room first. Usually, I like to do the the kitchens first, but. Guess what? I'm doing a toddler room first because this is the point of the video. All right, let's do a... Let's do the Simplicity Kids bed because I feel like I don't use that enough. I always use the modern one. Then I guess we'll use the Simplicity set. So we'll have the end table right there, the nightstand, whatever. And then I think I will do a desk. Nice desk like right here or maybe here. Yeah, right there. I love cluttering up this desk. I feel like this is one of my favorite desks in the game because there's so much storage you can put on here, like some things you can decorate with. Even this too, like this bed has like a bookshelf on it. So if you want to have like bedtime stories for your toddler, this is the perfect shelf for that, okay? Does this fit? Oh, you can, you can rescale it. <gasps> I forgot you can rescale the books. I completely forgot you can do that. This is expensive, so limit your plushies if possible. Like, um, these are kind of, you know, not the cheapest things ever, but... I got cute. It's cozy. It's cozy. Okay, it's cozy. Toddler room complete. Let's do the main bedroom next. Oh my gosh, I'm still not doing the kitchen. Very crazy, I know. I'm so crazy. How about... I'm gonna do two, two modern single beds, so it's cheaper to have that. This room is not very big, so you know what? We don't have to fill it up too much. Oh, I forgot. I do need a dresser in this room. I'll have a dresser. Maybe. All right, fridge. Let's work on the kitchen now, guys. Woo, kitchen. Okay. Uh, where do I put this? Where do I put this stuff? Where do I put this kitchen? Fridge will go there for now. We'll put the stove like here. Like, I guess we do have a square dining table, but they're so expensive. Like, why not have a simplicity square dining table? That'd be a nice addition. We could probably grab like an armchair for this spot. And then I'm going to grab a kid's beanbag chair so the little toddler can like lay down and watch TV too with their parents. TV stand. This hollow one. Do like the hollow one sofa and one toddler chair okay one beanbag chair let's go back to the kitchen and grab a sink i almost forgot this is the upgraded one feel free to do whatever with yours this is what it could look like okay all right and then last but not least let's do let's get the things needed for the bathroom so a toilet 
All right, and that's our house. That's our star home with a toddler bedroom. Very cute, very cute. Good job. All right, now we just need little details around the house. Uh, I'm not gonna do too much, but we'll try to have a decent amount of detailing. Once again, it's up to you how you wanna detail your house and your rooms and stuff. Yeah, we'll do that much. Is this look similar to any other home? Sort of. It sort of does. We can just like kind of, you know, do this. Need some flowers too, actually. This is pretty boring landscaping. We need some flowers. Maybe a sunflower right here. Very basic. How about this? How about this birdhouse? Now, because I can, and you probably shouldn't, um, I'm just gonna put a toddler jeep out here because yeah, they have a toddler that lives in this house. And now, you know, there's a toddler that lives here. Okay, great. I'm done. Alrighty, we are finally done. Here is the starter family blockwork house with the toddler room. It's it's good. I think it's good. It's definitely starter friendly. One story, don't really use too many game passes for it. I use some game passes like advanced placement and stuff, but it's like the upgraded one. But yeah, that's the house. I think it turned out cute. So if we walk on- oh wait. I am not being a toddler. I had to like go back in and change all these rooms all the time. I'm going to be- I'm going to be a kid again. I'm going back to my kid form. All right, I forgot to color the walls on the inside, so I just did that. So let's go and walk on in. And here we are. This is our, uh, this is our home. It's very, like, earthy colored, as you can see. We got greens, whites, and some browns, and, uh, some other random ones. But, yeah, I actually like this house layout. Um, but yeah, kitchen and living room all together in one spot. The backyard, which is pretty standard for barbecues and such. For such a small family and then if we go over here this is the bathroom which is normal typical bathroom all right what can you expect this is the toddler's bedroom which i kind of mixed in a lot of like i mixed two textures i guess puzzle and which i think is okay and honestly it does look cute look at it look how cozy this wow it's everything you need for the toddler Okay, and then last but not least, we have the main bedroom here, which is just a bed, dresser, and, and table. Pretty quick tour for the starter home, but yeah, that's that's what it is. I don't think I forgot anything else. And that's my house, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully, you you like this house. But yeah, anyway, guys, that is basically it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, you found it inspiring in any way, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up, and make sure you hit the subscribe button too, because it is completely free. Thank you all for taking the time and day to watch this, and I will talk to you all in the next video. Have a great day. Peter Bread signing out. Goodbye, everybody. Don't forget the grand opening for those castles tomorrow once again please do not get upset if you can't make it there's going to be three to four sessions um trying my best to get uh, as many people in but um if it if you can't get in i'm so sorry i can't control it okay i really can't help it but yeah